we want to evaluate the given inverse trig expressions. Notice how these three expressions involve inverse tangent or arctangent. When evaluating inverse trig expressions, we're given the trig ratio or trig function value and we're finding an angle in a particular interval. So for inverse tangent or arctangent, we need to remember that the output or range will be the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So for inverse tangent negative one, we're looking for an angle in this open interval that has a tangent function value of negative one. When evaluating inverse trig expressions that involve inverse sine or inverse cosine, the unit circle is often very helpful because on the unit circle x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. But remember tangent function values on the unit circle would be equal to y divided by x, so it's much more difficult to identify the angle that would have a particular tangent function value. So for our examples here, we'll use our reference triangle shown here below, where we have a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle here and a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle here. To begin, we'll ignore the negative and try to find an angle that has a tangent function value of positive one. And looking at the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, notice how tangent 45 degrees would be equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, and therefore tangent 45 degrees, or tangent pi over four radians, is equal to positive one. Because we have inverse tangent of negative one, and the angle has to be in the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two, meaning the angle must terminate in the first or fourth quadrant, because we have inverse tangent negative one, not positive one, we'll sketch a 45 degree reference angle, not in the first quadrant, but in the fourth quadrant. So the reference angle would have the initial side here and the terminal side here. And again, the reference angle would be 45 degrees. So if we sketch the reference triangle, we know it's going to be one, one, square root two, but because we're in the fourth quadrant where the y coordinate is negative, this one would be negative one. And notice the tangent function value of this reference angle is equal to negative one over one or negative one. But again, because our angle must be on the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two, the angle we're looking for would have the initial side along the positive x-axis here We'd have to rotate clockwise here, and therefore the angle we're looking for would actually be negative 45 degrees, or in radians, negative pi over four radians. Next we have inverse tangent of negative square root three divided by three. So let's go back and look at our reference triangles. This angle is probably gonna be a little more difficult to identify but because of the square root three, let's look at the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. Notice the tangent of 30 degrees would be equal to one divided by square root three, which if we ignore the sign doesn't look the same, but if we have one divided by square root three and we rationalize this, notice how we do get square root three divided by three. So the tangent 30 degrees is equal to square root three divided by three, and because we have inverse tangent of negative square root three divided by three, and because the tangent function value is negative in the fourth quadrant, where the y coordinate is negative, we'll sketch a 30 degree reference angle, not in the first quadrant, but in the fourth quadrant. So the reference angle would have the initial side here and the terminal side here. And again, the reference angle is three degrees. So if we sketch our reference triangle, we'd have one, two square root three, but again, because we're in the fourth quadrant, this is negative one. So we're looking for an angle in the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two that has a tangent function value of negative square root three divided by three. So we know the reference angle, but the actual angle we're looking for would have the initial side here and the terminal side here, but we'd have to rotate clockwise in this direction so our angle is actually negative 30 degrees, or negative pi over six radians. And then finally, for our last example, we have arctangent square root three, 
If it's helpful, we can write this as square root three over one. So if we go back to our reference triangles, notice how tangent 60 degrees is equal to square root three over one or square root three. So the reference angle is going to be 60 degrees and because the tangent function value is positive, we'll sketch a 60 degree reference angle in the first quadrant. So it would look something like this. Let's go ahead and sketch the reference triangle. So because we're in the first quadrant, everything is positive. So we have one, two, square root three. And because we're in the first quadrant, the reference angle here is the angle we're looking for. The initial side is here, the terminal side is here, and therefore the angle in this open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two is positive 60 degrees or pi over three radians. Now let's also check these on the graphing calculator. Even though we do want the angle in radians, on the calculator we'll use degrees because it's much more difficult to recognize the angle in radians when the calculator gives us a decimal approximation. So let's go ahead and press the mode key, go down to the third row and highlight degree, press enter, go back to the home screen, and for inverse tangent negative one, we press second tangent negative one, close parenthesis, enter, negative 45 degrees, is equal to negative pi over four radians. And just to show why we're in degree mode, if I enter negative pi divided by four, most of us wouldn't recognize this is a decimal approximation for negative pi over four radians. Next we have inverse tangent negative square root three divided by three. So second tangent negative, second x squared for the square root, three, right arrow, divided by three, close parenthesis, and enter. Negative 30 degrees equals negative pi over six radians. And then finally, arctangent square root three, second tangent square root three, right arrow, close parenthesis, enter. 60 degrees equals pi over three radians. I hope you found this helpful.